Hey, what's happening? My name's Adam Meckler, and I teach the trumpet at McNally Smith College of Music and McPhail Center for Music in St. Paul and Minneapolis. I had a friend email me and uh, ask a, what a good video for his niece to check out would be because she's beginning trumpet and uh, she only has band once a week, and right now the band director has their hands full with managing all the different students with their different instruments and teaching kids how to put things together and uh, oftentimes it takes a long time for a trumpet player to actually be able to play the horn. I thought I'd make this video and uh, talk a little bit about how to play the trumpet if you're just getting started. So uh, take that thing out of the case, take a look at it. Should look something like this. Mine looks a little fancy, but uh, they all pretty much sound the same. Uh, depending on who's playing it. So there's my horn and uh, the mouthpiece that comes with your horn, you just put it in there and you're done setting up your trumpet. How cool is that? Saxophone and flute and clarinet, you gotta spend so much time dealing with reeds and all kinds of stuff and we're lucky we just get to take it out of the horn and put our mouthpiece in and we're done. We hold it by putting our ring finger through the ring. So we have that ring right there, put our ring finger through the ring and then I just like to curl my other fingers behind the ring and put my thumb in my little thumb hole. Some, some people don't have this thumb one, but uh, it can sit around the valve casing either way. My horn kind of like sits like this. I don't want my hand to be too cocked that way, like that. So there's a 90 degree angle right here. This could really hurt your hand after a long time. So I like to try to straighten it out as much as I can. Uh, it's going to have a little bend in there. Take your right hand now and put your right hand over the valves like that and we put our fingertips on the valves if you want a, a little trick for uh keeping your fingertips on the valves you can put little pennies underneath each fingertip on top of the valve caps and and make sure try and keep those pennies right on top of the valve caps while you're playing that's a nice test to see if you're keeping your fingers on top of the valves and then our pinky can either go on top of our little pinky holder or you will need to do this sometimes when you use the plunger mute or if you're in New Orleans, jumping down the street, playing parade music, and holding a tip jar at the same time, you might just use one hand to play trumpet sometimes. Ooh, that's a big no-no in most band classes, but uh, but uh, sometimes you will need that, so don't break it off like your band director says. So, if we're going to play our first notes, uh, I want you to just say M. Say M. Everybody say M. Cool, you see how my lips are a little bit rolled in? M. They're not like this. They're like this. Um, and they're lightly touching. We don't actually go when we play the trumpet. We don't actually like physically buzz our lips. What we do is we keep our lips close together and we blow like that. You don't want to take a nice big breath and blow like that. And if you put your mouthpiece up to your face while you're doing that, you should make a sound. Now, when we want to play low notes, we want to use nice, warm, hot air. So we kind of go like like you're fogging up a window. If I could fog up the screen, I would. That would be a cool effect, wouldn't it? But I can't. Uh, so, nice warm air, and let's play a low C. So the, the note that'll probably come out when you play is low C. Sometimes people get higher notes. Some, sometimes people don't get a sound at all the first time they try it, and that can be really frustrating, but, uh, but keep hacking away and you'll get it. So, nice lightly touching lips saying M. Then we take a breath. <laughs> And we just let it fly. One more time. Relaxed lips. Lightly touching. M. Nice and relaxed. M. And then nice air through. And we go M. Right? And a couple fun games to play. If you get a note to sound... Uh, go ahead and see how long you can hold it. So time yourself on a clock. And uh, and then the next time you do it, try to do it longer. And the next time you do it after that, try to do it longer. Better yet, hang out with a friend who also plays trumpet who just started and see who can hold the note the longest. That's how you play when you first take the horn out of the case. Now, if you're feeling super awesome and you're already playing some notes, then you should be starting each note with your tongue. I don't like to talk about that right away. The first thing we want to do is just try to get a good, consistent sound. So, uh, in order to get a good, consistent sound, we have to use consistent air speed. So that means we take a big breath, 
and the air comes out at the same speed the whole time. If we do different speeds, then the sound starts going like, and it'll, it'll bend up and it'll bend down. So consistent airspeed, like you're turning on a faucet and the water's running, right? It all runs at the same speed. So that's, that's similar to how we want to treat our air. Now for tonguing, when we use our tongue to start our notes, we just say ta or two. So you'll feel the sensation of your tongue on the roof of your mouth, ta, ta, or two, 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 two. And if you do this, you go, two, two, two. That really mimics how it looks when we play the trumpet. Two, two, two. Everybody do that with me. Two, two, two. Now, instead of saying two, let's do the T motion, but let's not vocalize it. Let's just use air. So let's go, can you do that with me? Ready? All right, so that's how we want to start notes when we play the trumpet. It's all one coordinated motion. We take a big breath, we blow air out. So I'll show you what that sounds like on low C. So we go. We have our M lips. So I like to tell my students, just to hold a note for a while. You can just start by holding a note. You don't even have to start with your tongue, but then try and separate the note with your tongue. So your tongue kind of bounces off the roof of your mouth. Now the air never stops. Your tongue just separates the air. So remember our faucet, right, with our air? So we turn our faucet on and we take our finger and we go like this in the water, kind of like a sprinkler in your yard, right? When we put our finger against the running water and from the faucet, it doesn't stop the water altogether, right? It just separates it. So that's what our tongue is doing with our air. So that's what you want to be thinking about when you're tonguing. I'll do it one more time. So we have our M lips lightly touching, nice and easy. We're thinking soft, warm air because we're playing a low note. Our lips are a little bit relaxed. <laughs> Once you get a good, consistent sound happening, then start to experiment with other notes. So you can look in your book and you can see that D is one and three. D is like the next note up that we usually learn if we're, if we're starting on low C. Sometimes you'll start on middle G. Because we only have three valves, each one of these valves and each combination of valves is gonna be multiple notes, right? You see saxophones and flutes and clarinets and there's tons and tons of keys. All those keys, represent different notes and different combinations of keys represent different notes on the trumpet it's similar except we only have three buttons and this is actually why i chose the trumpet i thought the trumpet's going to be easy because there's only three buttons just that open note that we were playing can also be other pitches so here's low c that's the note we started with the next one up is called g the next one above that is c so that's an octave above the first note we started at. It sounds the same, but it's in a different register. So one is low and one is high, right? So there's our C. The next one up from that is E. And then G again, all right? So you can see that a lot of different notes can come out of one fingering. Now, if we use our one and three, that's one first and third valve. That's our D. So if we start on our low C, that was the first pitch we started. Maybe use a tiny bit more air. Maybe strengthen the corners of your lips just a little bit to get that note out. It's really close to the first note we started at. So you don't have to try really, really hard to get it. It should come out nice and easy, just like that low C. We're still thinking warm air because it's a pretty low note. All right, that's C up to D. And then challenge yourself and go from C to D and then up to E. So that's... And we can do the same thing. Go up to F. And then we can go all the way up to G. This is our first five notes of the trumpet. A 
Let's C, D, E, F, G. All right, those are all pitches that we can use to play lots and lots and lots of songs. So you'll look in your book and you'll see tons of songs in your book. If you have beginning band, if you don't have a book, you can look online or you can just figure out cool songs by yourself. You can play songs like Hot Cross Buns. You probably learned Hot Cross Buns on recorder or something in fourth or fifth grade. Right, and you can hear that I'm using my tongue. Ta ta ta, ta ta ta, ta 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 ta. But I'm really going. Okay, so that should give you a really good start. Now, if you're still having trouble playing the horn, contact someone and meet with them, someone who knows how to play the trumpet, all right? There's nothing that replaces meeting in person or over Skype with a real human being. Videos are great. Uh, that's why I'm making this video. But you want to make sure that you touch base with someone. So if that's your band director after class, I mean, band directors can be very, very busy. Uh, I know all about that. My wife was a band director for 12 years, and and uh, I work in schools frequently as a guest clinician and a guest artist. And it's not always easy for them to 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 grab each student individually and talk to them. So. Uh, find someone in your community. At the very least, you could shoot me an email and you can be like, hey, Adam, what am I doing wrong? Send me a video or we could Skype. You can send me an email, adammeckler at gmail.com. That's in the, uh, in the description of the video. Uh, or you can visit my website, adammeckler.com, and you can check out all the stuff that I'm doing all the time and, and ask me questions there. Send me emails there. All right. I hope your trumpet life is getting off to an awesome start. If it's not, stick with it. It can happen, all right? Sometimes it takes me meeting with someone in person two or three weeks before we start getting really good sounds out of the trumpet. But after that, you're off to the races, all right? So just be patient, and then you'll have it. Cool. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.